As burials began for some of those who died in Sunday's eruption, tears mingled with a sense of disbelief at the suddenness of the tragedy. Survivors remember how a deadly cloud filled with burning gas, rocks and sand hurtled down the slopes of Fuego Volcano at a speed of up to 100 kilometers per hour. It hit the village of El Rodeo so quickly those who were caught in it hardly knew what hit them. Found buried under ash, frozen in sudden death. El Rodeo is one of three villages on the slopes of the volcano that were devastated by Sunday's eruption. Days after the catastrophe, many still struggle to come to terms with what happened last Sunday afternoon. My parents are gone. I was left an orphan. I have my eight brothers, but I also lost my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, her brother. The truth is at this point, I don't know if we will ever find them. Shelters are filled with dazed survivors, those who were able to flee the killer cloud and those lucky enough to be far from its path. Those who lost family or who believe them still missing congregate at a crowded morgue in the nearby city of Esquintla, hoping their loved ones are not among the dead, that somehow they might still be found alive. Sunday morning was like any other in El Rodeo. Residents are used to the volcano's constant rumblings. Its eruption Saturday night did not cause much concern. And about 1 p.m. Sunday afternoon, they were told by government disaster officials there was nothing to worry about, that they should take shelter in their houses, but nothing else. Two hours later, the deadly cloud roared in, trapping those in its path. <laughs> Everything happened in just a split second. We did not know what to do. I was trapped and I thought I would never get out. As rescue efforts continue, questions are being raised about the timeliness of the evacuation orders. Residents say they were told to leave their homes when it was too late. Government disaster relief officials say they were following standard protocol. Even as new explosions continue to occur, some survivors are already demanding answers. Harris Whitbeck, CGTN, Guatemala City.